All right, so this will be the last video in uh, the chapter for connections. We're going to provide an overall summary of what we've learnt so far in this chapter. So starting with uh, bolt connections. Uh, remember that there are four failure modes in bolt connections. We're going to be looking at the yielding and fracturing of the plate. And so this is something we've done before uh, in the tension chapter. Uh, thirdly, we're going to look at bolt and shear. And four, we're going to look at ply bearing. So these two are actually quite new. So if I was just wrong. So these are the new ones in this topic. Uh, so bolt and shear, looking at that first, remember this is a per bolt capacity. So the more bolts you have, the stronger it is. Okay, so this is the equation we use. Uh, around to the first variable we need is kr. We know phi equals 0 0.8. KR can be found in table 9.3.2.1 and this is determined by our length between the first and last row of connectors so that will be our bolt okay uh, NN is the number of shear planes through our core and remember our core is our threaded area of our bolt our core area is the cross-sectional area of our core uh, number of shear planes through the shank is NX so that's through the top part and shank area is the cross-sectional area of the, the unthreaded area of the bolt. Uh, so now we'll move on to ply bearing. Uh, ply bearing involves uh, two sort of failure modes in itself. So ply bearing can either be a crushing or bearing of the edge of the plate or it's complete tear out. So the equation at the top is a bearing and the one at the bottom is a tear out. So, sorry. So we need to actually find the capacity.